Today we are going to solve admission problems, and similar to coin problems that we solved yesterday, the difference is that instead of coins, values of coins, and number of coins, we have how many people attended. And so the value for an adult ticket and the value for a children's ticket will vary. And so that's the difference, is that with a coin you have the same value each time, but for admissions the value can vary. But it's pretty much set up the same way. We have two different equations we're going to end up setting up. We have a quantity equation, and we have a value equation. And so that's what we're going to look for when we read the problem. And so there were 440 people at a play. Well, this is a total number. And so when you get a total number, that means we're dealing with a quantity here. And so admission was $3 for adults, $2.50 for children. See, these are the value of an adult ticket, value of a child's ticket. The receipts were $1,255. So this is a total amount of money. And they're asking for how many adults and how many children ended up attending. And so here are our unknowns. We'll call A the number of adults and C the number of children. So from there, we can set up a quantity equation. So the number of adults plus the number of children equals the total number that ended up showing up, which was 440 people. Now the value equation. We do the same sort of thing as we did the coin, but instead of a value of a coin, we have a value of an adult ticket. And so it's $3 for an adult ticket. So $3 times the number of adults who showed up plus $2.50 the number of children who showed up, and the total taken, or the total receipts, was $1,255. And so now we've got our two equations, now we can solve. And so the best way to do it is to try to cancel out the one that you have to multiply less numbers by. You see, 2.5 is smaller, but there's two digits, so it's easier to multiply by just the 3. So in this case, I'm going to multiply by negative 3, and that will cancel out my A term. So now I have negative 3a minus a 3c equals negative $440. So I can add these two equations together now, and the a's will cancel out. When I do the subtraction, I'm left with negative 0.5. So think about taking $3 from $2.50. There's 50 cents left over. So negative 0.5 cents equals do the subtraction here, and it looks like, oops, I forgot to do something. I forgot to multiply the 3 by the 440. So let's go ahead and fix my mistake here. So I'll go ahead and erase that. And I, I saw that I was making the error when I was looking at the negative signs. I saw that, okay, if I do the subtraction here, I'll end up with a positive number. And so when I divide a negative into a positive, I'll get a negative. And you shouldn't have a negative number of people. That wouldn't make sense. And so looking for things like that, looking for errors that you might end up making is an important thing to do when you're solving a problem. And so I made the error by not multiplying the 3 by the 440. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. 440 times by 3, and I end up with a 0, a 12, carry a 1, and I get 1320. And that makes sense because it needs to be bigger than this 1255. So I'm pretty confident I did the right thing here. And I go ahead and do that subtraction. So when we subtract, I'll have to do it off to the side again. So this is where it's important, I think, when you're doing your problem, have your work going down the page here, maybe off to the side. I probably should have even done this further over. And that way I can have the problem kind of flow as I go without it being all chopped up. So I'll just go ahead and move that over to that side there. And so I'll set up my little problem here of just doing some subtraction off to the side. And then make sure I borrow when I do this subtraction. I've got to borrow all the way from this 3, change it to a 2. 12 changes to an 11. Then I can do the work. So 11 minus 5 gives me 6 and a 5. So there it is, 65. And it's negative. And this, this is good because now I have two negatives so that when I do the division, I'll end up getting those to cancel. So I'll do this division here. And when I do that, again, the negative signs cancel. Now, when you're doing a half into a number, you're basically timesing that number by 2. And so here's a, a way to remember what to do here, because a lot of people just divide by 5 and get the wrong answer. This is the same thing as a division sign, a fraction bar is. So really, it's 65. We're dividing by 
0.5. And again, the negative signs cancel out, so make it positive. So when I do this, I'm thinking about how many halves can I make out of 65? Well, if you're still unsure, now you can do this. You can go ahead and rewrite this as a division sign or division problem this way. And when we're doing it, the number on the bottom goes into the number on top. And so whenever we divide, we always divide by whole numbers. So that means we have to move that decimal over, do the same thing here. So we add that zero. So now it's really 5 into 650. And so now we go ahead and do the division, and 5 goes into the 6 one time with 1 left over. Bring down the zero, goes in there two times. Make sure you add that extra zero at the end, 120. And that makes sense. We're doing we're trying to take 65 and divide it into halves. So we're basically taking this number and doubling it. And that's what we get when we multiply these numbers here. We end up getting the number doubled. And actually, this should be a 3 here. So what is that? It's 3, okay, because of this is a 5 right down here. So I made another mistake. So hopefully you don't make as many mistakes as I'm making on my problems. And again, I knew that it should have been doubled, and I just didn't bring down the right number. So... 5 goes into 15 three times. So there's my number for that. So I've got C, the number of children, equals 130. So from this point, I'm going to take that 130 and find out the number of adults. And so I just substitute, use that substitution method, and take that 130 and put it in for C right there. And so you got A plus 130, and then equals 440. And so from this point, I can do some subtraction there and subtract that 130. And it's important to, you know, I've made a few mistakes, a couple mistakes already, and it's real important to make sure that when you're doing a problem, you're thinking about what that answer should be. Because if I wasn't thinking about what that answer should be, I'd end up making another mistake. And so, it, again, it's important to look at what you're actually doing and making sure it makes sense. So, again, look at this one here. Look, I ended up putting a 4, an extra 4, instead of a 0, so I would have had the wrong number once more. And so when I go ahead and and uh, do that subtraction, that leaves me with this, this 310 as my answer. So the, the number of adults is 310, the number of children is 130. And then you can go ahead and add back and see if that makes sense. You see, 0 plus 0 makes 0. 3 plus 1 makes 4, 1 plus 3 makes 4, so that makes 440, so yeah, that makes sense. So it is the right number there. Let's take a look at our next problem here. The attendance at a school concert was 200, 200 people all together, and there were costs of an adult ticket was $5, cost of a children's ticket $3. The amount taken was $750, that's the value. And they're asking how many adults and how many children. So we'll do the same thing. Set up an unknown for each of the unknowns that we have, A for adults, C for the number of children, and set up our quantity equation. So remember the quantity equation is how many we end up having, so quantity. And we have a total of number of adults is A, number of children is C, and there is 200 all together. And then we have our value equation. So this is where the dollar signs come in. And so we have five dollars for the number of an for the number for the cost of an adult ticket, and we have three dollars for the cost of a children's ticket. And the total taken is the amount made. And so 750 dollars is that number. So when I'm looking at these numbers, try to just multiply by the easier number to cancel out, because we have to find both. So I'm going to multiply by negative 3, and let's try not to make as many mistakes as I did last time here. So think about the numbers as you're doing it. Okay, negative 3a, that makes sense. Negative 3c, and make sure you multiply the 3 by the 200. You know, it's a mistake I made, and it's a mistake other people will make as well. So make sure you try not to make that mistake. So negative 600. Okay, so when we go ahead and do the work, Think about what those numbers should be. Okay, so this is a positive 2a. So if I have a positive 2a and the c's cancel out, that means this number needs to be positive. If it's not, then you're doing something wrong. And so we end up with 150, so that makes sense. Okay, so we're doing good so far, and we go ahead and do that division of 2. And so we have 2 goes into 15 7 times, and then 2 goes into, there's, let's see here, there's, uh, one left over, so two goes into ten five times. So 75 adults ended up showing up. 
So let's find out the number of kids or number of children. We just take that A value that we got of 75 and substitute it back in there. So we have A, but in place of A, let's go ahead and rewrite that number 75. So we'll write down 75 plus C equals 200. And so all you have to do here is just subtract that 75 from both sides. So make sure you borrow when you do this. And if you get 700 and and uh, 20 or 725, you know you're doing something wrong, or even 775 uh, or 275. So we end up having to borrow here all the way back from the 2, change that to a 1, 10 changes to a 9, and then we do the subtraction. So we end up with a 1, 2, 5. And it makes sense. If you add these numbers together again, 75 plus 25, 125 makes 200. So that's another way people will end up doing the subtractions. They'll just think about adding. Well, what plus 75 makes 200? Well, 25 plus 75 makes 100, and then you just add an extra 100. So 25 plus 100, 125. So another way to do the same type of problem. Last one here, we have the admission of an, a 340 people paid to go to a game. Price for an adult ticket was $2. Children's $150. Total brought in $600. How many adults? How many children? So let's set up our quantity problem, our quantity equation here. So the quantity this time, this spelled right here. Right, quantity this time was A plus C equals 340 in the value equation. Well, we have the value of an adult ticket was two dollars. Value of a children's ticket, dollar fifty, and the total taken was six hundred dollars. So we'll go ahead and multiply this time by a negative two to cancel out the a term. It'll be easier to multiply. Now, when you do it, this is going to be similar to the first problem we did because you see we'll end up with a negative c value. So make sure I multiply this. We get zero eight, and this makes six. And this is going to be a negative, and this makes sense because when I'm doing the subtraction, I'm ending up with a negative 0.5c equals, and this makes a negative 80. So that makes sense. I should have two negatives, so they cancel out. Now, remember that rule. Again, we're dividing by negative 0.5. So when we do that, basically we're just doubling this number. Another way to think about it is this. Negative 0.5 is the same thing as negative 1 half c equals negative 80. And here's where fractions sometimes are a little easier. And so what I could end up doing is I could end up multiplying by the reciprocal. And see, instead of having this, this decimal form, if I have the fraction form, I multiply by the reciprocal. See how those 2's and the negative signs will cancel? Do the same thing on this side, negative 2. And here we have c equals 160. So that's how I got my answer without having to do some division. I just did multiplication. And so from there, we can just take that 160 and substitute to find out the number of adults. So A plus 160 equals 340. Subtract that 160 from both sides, and we'll get our answer. So we'll go ahead and do that. Make sure, again, you borrow a little bit. So we got 0, borrow from the 3, change it to a 2. Do that subtraction, we've got 1, 14 minus 6 makes 8, so 180 adults. And check your math there, see if you add up, should add up to 340. 8 plus 6 is 14, carry a 1, 1 and 1 make 2, plus 1 makes 3, so it does end up working out. So those are the problems that you'll see on tonight's homework. Good luck.